Question 105. The rate of growth of your fingernails, of course, it's not something that you could think about every day. But the answers are so far apart, literally 1,000 times apart, that it should be fairly easy to identify an answer. I'm sure you may have your own way to do this, but for me, I would just take a random starting point and then convert it into something that I can imagine, which is over a period of one year. To get to meters per year, I need to get rid of the seconds. So we've already done dimensional analysis like this in past questions in this very pink booklet. So 60 seconds over a minute, 60 minutes over an hour, etc. Seconds cancel, minutes cancel, hours cancel, days cancel, and so we end up with meters over years. That completes the dimensional analysis. Now it's just math. Again, because the answer choices are so far apart, we can make estimates. This is 25. This will be 400. 4 times 25 is 100. And there's two zeros left over. 1, 2, 3 zeros gets rid of 10 to the minus 3. 60 times 60 plus 1 zero meters per year. So answer choice A is saying 36,000 <laughs> meters per year, which is 36 kilometers. <laughs> so somehow I think you would agree with me that your nails don't grow 36 kilometers per year. Answer choice B is 1,000 less. Again, this would be an extraordinary number <laughs> for your nails to grow in one year. And then answer choice C is a thousand less. Now there's a welcome sight. 3.6 centimeters. You think about all the times you cut your nails. Okay, well anyway, what was your choice going to be between 3.6 centimeters and 36 meters? And then D, well that's going to be one thousandth of this. So we're measuring in micrometers, which means you never cut your nails. So of course, answer choice C is correct. And so if you Google the rate of growth of fingernails, you'll see this is quite a reasonable calculation. And so the question is classic Acer, a little bit of ambiguity, a little bit of reasoning, a little bit of logic, some basic maths, and you're off to the races. So dimensional analysis in GAMSAT Math 2.2 and lots of MCQs. In the GS1 test, we have the rate of growth of your patella. Other tests have heartbeats and other random body things to get you to use dimensional analysis.